Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this amazing hat. This is so cool. It's got fur on the inside, faux fur of course, and it has a bill of a brim here and it's just so warm and cozy for those Midwest winters. I'm so excited for this. Um, so I'll get into the supplies and then we'll get into making this cute little hat here. So big thank you to Lion Brand Yarn for providing the yarn for this project. I'll have to get the label here for this yarn. This is Hometown USA and it's called Syracuse Orange and oh my, my friends went to Syracuse. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is, um, we used two balls of this yarn so I used um, well, a little less than two balls. You can see I have this much left here. But uh, they're, they're 81 yards each, and I used a little more than 81 yards. I would say like 90-some yards of yarn for this main color, or main yarn here. And then for the faux fur, I used a little more than a skein of yarn as well. So this comes in 65 yards. Um, I, I used a little less than two skeins. Um, you can see I have this much left on this one. So I used a full skein and then part of this skein here. And this comes in 65 yard balls, so I would say um, probably 75 yards of yarn for this part, for the fur part. Uh, this is go for faux. And I highly recommend using this yarn. This is the first time I got to use this faux fur yarn and or go for faux and it is incredibly soft and incredibly luscious and beautiful to work with and just so soft on the fingers. I really loved working with this yarn for the first time. So both of these yarns are size 6 bulky yarns. Super bulky, sorry, super bulky. So if you want to use something similar to this yarn in a different brand, you can do that. Just make sure they are both super bulky. During this tutorial, I will show you um, that if you don't want to use fur, you can use both layers of this color or this type of yarn, or you can mix and match um, different things. I show you that you can have the bill brim, or you can eliminate the bill brim and just have the uh, trapper hat top. You can add buttons to this part. I mean, this is such a versatile pattern. You can make this bigger or smaller that I have stitch counts in the blog post post on yarnutopia.com for smaller sizes, but this is the large men's size. This will fit a large man, and uh, it will, uh, th this is the stitch counts for this tutorial on making this for a larger person. But, like I said, the blog post will have smaller sizes available in the written instructions. And I'll put that also as a PDF file, digital download available on my Etsy and Ravelry too. Uh, we are going to be using a 9mm hook. This is, let me see if I'm getting in the camera here. Ooh, can you see that? 9 millimeters, And that is um, the size hook we're using. I'm sorry, I'm filming this myself, so my dad's not here to film this with me, so I can't really show you like he does. There we go. <laughs> so this is nine millimeters and this hook is just a regular boy hook. Uh, I don't have a would-be fancy hook in this size yet, uh, but I will be getting one soon. And you can get would-be fancy crochet hooks um, on the Etsy shop, would-be fancy, but this hook is not, does not have the wooden handle that I usually have in my tutorials, but I will get one soon. You will also need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew things together and sew in your ends. Um, we sew a, two, basically we're making two hats and then we're sewing them together. I inserted an actual hat inside of here that is a bill brim hat. Um, so it's basically fur, actual bill brim hat, and then crochet on this side. So it's like three layers of a hat. It's really heavy uh, and perfect for these brutal winters that we get in Wisconsin um, or really anybody in the Midwest who deals with a uh, severe cold or those of you who like hunting or those of you who like snowboarding or going up on the slopes. I mean this is great for all of those things and it's going to keep you warm for sure. Uh, so that's really all the supplies you're going to need today. 
We're using a lot of double crochet stitches and we are using a lot of sewing techniques to make the two layers come together. But like I said, you don't need to include this part and in the tutorial I will show you that as well. If you want to add the bill brim or not, um, but if you were going to add the bill brim, I would suggest you just put an entire hat inside because if you just cut off the brim of the hat and insert it, this part could become floppy. So you just want to keep that in mind when you are crocheting this hat. But other than that, those are all the supplies you need. Big thank you to Lion Brand Yarns for providing all this uh, fabulous luscious yarn for us today in this tutorial. And uh, thanks to you for watching. Make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the places. Thumbs up this video. If you make it, please hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your work. And uh, yeah, let's get started and make this fun faux fur trapper hat. All right, we are going to start off with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull your long end through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So we're gonna start off by chaining three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna work into this third chain from the hook for round one. So we are going to put nine double crochets into this chain right here. So yarn over, go into that chain, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. And that is a double crochet. So we're gonna do nine of those in that chain. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so you can see I worked in a circular form here, and we are going to slip stitch to the first double crochet stitch right here. So ignore this that looks like a chain two right here, one, two. Ignore that, and go into the actual double crochet stitch right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Sorry about that, my doorbell rang. <laughs> anyway, so we slip stitched into that stitch there. We are going to turn our work around for every row, okay? So we worked this way first, and now we're gonna turn our work this way, and we are going to go on to round two by chaining up two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two, and that does not count as a stitch at all. We are going to work in each of these stitches like this, and we are going to work two double crochets into each stitch. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch here. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. There's one, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's two in that stitch. Hop to the next stitch right here, go into there, make two double crochets in there, and just put two double crochets in each stitch around. At the end of round two, you should have 18 double crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll go on to round three. All right, don't forget this very last stitch right here. If you need to, count back 18 so you know that you have that many stitches around and that is the last stitch that we work into right there. So I have 18 stitches around, so this is what it should look like. So now we're gonna go into the first double crochet stitch here. Okay, so again, ignore this chain up two right here, one, two. Ignore that, go into the double crochet stitch right up here and slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. And then chain two, 
one and two and turn your work around. So now we can go on to round three. For round three, we're going to put two double crochets into this stitch right here and then one double crochet into the next and then repeat that sequence all the way around. So two double crochets into this first stitch right here. One and two. And then one double crochet into this next stitch right here. Okay, and then just repeat. So two double crochets into this next stitch right here. And then one double crochet into this stitch, this next stitch here. Okay, and repeat. So two in the next, one in the next, two in the next, one in the next. Do that all the way around. At the end of round three here, we will have 27 double crochet stitches. So I'm going to do that. Weird. <laughs> That's a weird thing. I'm going to cut this too. <laughs> and then I will be right back to show you round four. Alright, just finishing up round three here. Make sure your last stitch goes into that stitch there. And we can slip stitch to the first double crochet stitch. So again, ignore the chain up two. Go into the double crochet stitch. And yarn over, pull through and through. Turn the work around. Chain up two. And for round four, we're going to put two double crochets in this next stitch, this first stitch here. One and two. And then we're just going to put one double crochet in each of these next two stitches. So one in this stitch, and then one in this next stitch here. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches one and one. Okay, just like that and just repeat that all the way around. At the end of round four you should have 36 double crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll show you round five next. Alright, when you come back around we want to slip stitch to the first double crochet stitch right here. Okay, yarn over, pull through and through chain two and turn your work around so we can go on to round five now. We are going to put two double crochets into the first stitch. One and two. And then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches for this round. Okay, so one in that stitch, one in this stitch, and then one in this next stitch and just repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So two double crochets in this next stitch, one and two, then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, one, and one. Okay, and just repeat. So two in the next, one in the next three. And do that all the way around for round five. And at the end of this round, you should have 45 stitches around. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished um, round five here. We're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch right here. Now if this is your inside part of your hat, um, stop increasing at this point and go on to uh, round seven with me. But I am going to go on to round six. This is the outside of my hat, so I'm going to increase one more time up to 54 stitches. Uh, and then the inner hat will be 50, uh, 45 stitches and the outer hat will be 54 stitches. That way you can sew it um, inside the hat and it's not going to bunch up because it would be the same exact size if you made two of the same exact size. Hope that makes sense. It will when uh, we put our pieces together. But um, for the inside of the hat, 
stop increasing at this point and just work up the sides, but I am going to increase one more time here. So we slip stitched to the first stitch here, okay? We're going to chain two, turn the work around, okay? And we're going to put two double crochets in this first stitch here, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next four stitches for this round. Okay, so you can kind of see how the increase is, just an extra stitch in between the increases. Okay, just like that. So just repeat that sequence then all the way around. So two in the next, and then one in the next four stitches. So at the end of round six here, you will have 54 stitches around. Whoops, I messed up there. So two in the next, <laughs> one in the next four. It's hard to talk and crochet at the same time for me. So do that and then uh, once I have my 54 stitches, I'll come back and show you round seven. All right, just uh, putting my last stitch in here. Okay, so I have 54 stitches around now, so I'm going to slip stitch to this first stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, and through. And now I'm done increasing, so this is what your whole piece should look like here. So I'm going to turn my work around, chain up two, and for rounds seven, eight, and nine, okay, if you did not need to increase um, after round five here, do rounds six, seven, eight, and nine of just one double crochet around, okay? If you did round six here, okay, with the increase, do rounds seven, eight, and nine, so the next three rounds of just one double crochet in each stitch around. Make sure to turn your work after each round, and no more increasing, just double crochet into each stitch around, just like this. Just one double crochet in each stitch. You should have 54 stitches on each round if you're working on the hat that's on the outer outside. If you have the hat that's working on the in, or the hat that's on the inside, you'll have 45 stitches around. Okay, so you're essentially making two hats: one with 45 stitches around and one with 54 stitches around, all ending with round nine. Okay, do not fasten off after round nine because we have to make the ear flaps. So I'm just going to continue working. Um, this is round seven for me. So I'm going to round, do round seven, eight, and nine. And when I finish round nine, I will come back and show you how to do the ear flaps. All right, I just finished round nine here. I'm going to slip stitch to this first stitch here. Yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, and then we are going to start with the first ear flap. We are going to chain two and turn our work around. So we're looking at the outside of this hat here, or I guess the inside, it doesn't really matter which side is which. And we are going to double crochet into 10 stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch here, and just double crochet into 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm at the end of my yarn here. I am going to change color. So I'll show you exactly what I do for changing color. One, two. I start with this yarn here and start by doing a double crochet, but on these last two loops, I drop this old color or old yarn. I gotta grab my new yarn here. Okay. And then I uh, take the end of the new yarn and I pull that through these two loops just like this to finish that stitch off. And then I just continue on working. I like to work over the top of these strands as well just to hide them. So continue on working the stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now that's sewn in, so I'm going to chop off the excess right here, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to chain two and turn our work. So now we're looking at this side, and we are going to double crochet into each stitch across these 10 stitches. Okay, and that's row two of the first ear flap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to do that until we have five rows of this. So this is the second row here. So chain two, turn your work around. And then do the third row, the fourth row, and the fifth row, okay? Once you have finished row five, I'll come back and I'll show you we're going to actually do two more rows, but I want to decrease at that point. So I'm going to do five rows of this, um, just ten stitches across, and then I'll be back after row five of this ear flap. All right, I just finished row five here of the ear flap, so now I'm going to chain two. And this next row, row six of the ear, first ear flap here, we are going to decrease on these first two stitches right here. So we are going to yarn over, we're going to do a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, but hold these two on your hook. We're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch right here, then yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops. So now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, that is a double crochet two together stitch. Now we're going to double crochet into these next two stitches, just a regular double crochet. And then we're going to do another double crochet decrease on these two stitches here. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, then do a regular double crochet in the next two stitches, and then double crochet two together on these last two stitches here. So yarn over, go into the next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, Go, yarn over, go into this last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So on this row, row six of the first ear flap, you should have uh, seven stitches across. Chain two and turn your work. Okay, last row of the ear flap. We are going to decrease on these two stitches here, so yarn over, go into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, hold these two loops, yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Now we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and there should be two stitches left. We are going to uh, double crochet those two together. This looks like a stitch here, but it's not. It's the chain up two stitch, which isn't a stitch at all. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into this last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we can chain one and cut our yarn and then pull it all the way through and pull tight. That is fastening that off, and that is what that ear flap looks like. Let me zoom out here, there we go. So you can see that. So now what we need to do is go across to this side and um, make the other ear flap. So we started this other ear flap here, 
on the inside, okay? So what we're going to do, let me see here. Actually, no, we started on the outside there. So we're going to, we started here, okay? So we're going to start on this outside here and count. And we want to count, we want to skip 15 stitches and then work into the 16th stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so 16 is right here. Okay, so we want to work into the 16th stitch, so skip 15 stitches across the front here. And now I'm going to zoom back in, and we are going to attach our yarn. Just hold it on your hook like this, pull it through, and then chain two. And just work the same exact way we did for the first ear flap. Okay, so double crochet across here, 10 stitches. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole thing. If you need to, rewind this to see exactly what we did for the first ear flap and just repeat exactly what we did. Once you have the second ear flap finished, I'll come back and show you what to do next. Alright, so I have both ear flaps finished. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. There we go. So you can see here is what my hat looks like, okay? Kind of plain right now. We want to add the inner hat. So what you need to do is repeat this whole thing for the inner hat. So I made the outer hat increasing to 54 stitches and doing rounds 7, 8, and 9 in 54 stitches. For the inside hat, I am going to use fur, and that's why I'm not going to show you the inside hat, but it's essentially the same thing, just with 45 stitches. And um, the ear flaps are exactly the same. But I'm using fur on that one, and you can see I, I still have to do the other ear flap, um, but I started it right here, and that's going to fit inside of this hat. So we're essentially making two hats, and you don't have to use fur, you can use um, the same type of yarn here and insert that on the inside. That's going to be super heavy, look at how thick that is going to be. I love that too. But essentially what we're doing is making two hats and putting them together like this. And so I wanted one, the inside one to be furry um, just for that uh, style and design. So I'm going to set this one inside here like this. I'm going to make the other ear flap off camera here, but I'm just going to show you exactly where I'm going with this. Um, and so you can see the design style. So it's going to look like that. Okay. And I'll come back and show you how to sew these two pieces together and make it look fabulous. And then you can either uh, add a hat, a uh, bill of a hat, like this one. This is an old hat here. But you can use a bill of a hat like this one, or you can use, uh, or you can crochet like a flapper, like a kind of like a hat, trapper hat style like that. So. I'll show you that next, but let me finish the other ear flap of this inner hat, and then I'll show you how to sew it all together. Okay, so I finished my um, inner hat here with fur, and I have my my main or my outside yarn here. I'm going to yarn my needle with that, and I'm going to sew these two pieces together. Now, what you can do is just line everything up like so, okay, and just start, I maybe would start at the ear flap here, and just work your way around from the inside out, or I'm sorry, the outside in, wait, outside, inside out, yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, what is that, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting tired here. <laughs> it is getting late. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we are going to sew this back and forth through the stitches. And do you want to take your time with this? Let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I'm going uh, just back and forth like this and sure enough you will maybe see a little bit of the stitches inside but the fur is going to cover majority of that okay so we're just gonna go 
now up the side here and you want it just to be right on the edge okay of everything just make sure everything is sewn together now for my hat what I'm going to do is take an old hat and stick it inside so it has the brim uh, but you can uh, skip that part if you want totally up to you okay and when you get to the front of the hat I'll show you here okay so this is the front front of my hat. It's not sewn together yet, but um, let me zoom out. Okay, so when you get to the front of the hat, leave these stitches unworked because we are going to crochet um, the upper uh, trapper hat style flap. And I mean, you can skip ahead to that part and crochet it first before sewing it. On, and that's cool too but I'm gonna sew it on or crochet it on after uh, just from my preference of how I'm gonna work in the process but if you want to fast forward to that and then come back and sew things together later it's really creator's choice on how you want to do that so I am going to sew this all together first and then I'm going to come back and we're gonna crochet on the front of these stitches just on the outer hat um, across here so just leave those unworked when you are sewing this together just so we can access those to um, crochet at least just these front loops here okay just try to leave these unworked you can see that okay cool so I'm gonna work on those later but for now I'm just gonna sew this all together and while I'm doing this I'm going to insert this hat in between the two layers because this is an old hat and I want to cover it but I also want the brim okay and I'm going to oh look how cool that's gonna look okay cool and because I want this brim I am going to crochet over this brim later um, as well that's why I said you can uh, crochet or leave this unworked because I'm going to crochet the flap up here and I'm going to crochet over this bill here okay so again I've never tried this before off camera so we're just going with the flow <laughs> of this one so I'll meet you back up when I am uh, finish sewing all this up until this point here and then we're gonna cover this and then we're going to make the flap now if you don't have an extra hat don't worry about it you can sew across um, the whole thing and not have a brim okay you can just sew across the whole thing here and then we'll make the flap the trapper hat style on top uh, separately as well so you can add the hat like me or you can skip it so I'm just gonna sew this two, two pieces together and I'll be right back okay I'm sorry I uh, actually fastened off and I didn't realize I didn't show you how to do that so I uh, left this open because I am putting an old hat inside but I wanted to show you I sewed from here along this edge across the back and down and up this ear flap and I ended on each side here and I tied just a simple knot uh, let me see if I can zoom in there okay so I tied like a simple knot right there and then just sewed the end in on this side and on this side here okay so it's just a simple knot and then I sewed the ends in now this is open on mine just because I am going to insert this hat in here so you can see just like this and then this inner hat goes in there like that sorry I'll zoom out there we go it looks so cool just like this okay and there is this hat cool okay but I want to cover this because um, I don't really care for the camo uh, coloring there so I'm going to crochet 
a piece along here to go on the other uh, underside as well and then sew it to uh, this piece and this piece and then we'll make the top trapper hat part. Um, so leave um, if you're gonna sew the bill part, if you are adding a hat in here and sewing the bill part to this, sew it to these back loops of this um, row and leave the front loops free because we are gonna work on the front loops of these. Here, let me see if I can show you. I'm talking about these front loops here. Leave these free so we can work using these front loops uh, to make the trapper hat design. Okay, but this pattern is so versatile. I mean, you could, like I said, leave the bill out and sew this up and just have the hat um, just like this, and that's cool. Okay, you can have the hat just like this. You can insert the hat and have it um, with the bill just plain like that or you can have it so we are going to cover the bill and not have the trapper hat part which we're going to do later I mean there's so many ways you can make this hat but the inside is all furry and that looks so cool and bright orange and so I'm going to show you how to cover this bill next okay so <clears throat> I have my hat inside of here because I want to measure as I go and I recommend you do the same. And we are going to work in these back loops here. So you can see we usually go in these both loops here like this. We're going to go in the back loop, okay, only. And I'm going to pick up my main color here and pull this up just like that. And then chain two. And we're going to double crochet in each of these stitches across. So there should be 15 stitches here so double crochet across one two you can see I'm working in the back loop only okay just like that let's see that's five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, then we're going to, as you can see here, these front loops here are worked are unworked and they're free so we can make that uh that trapper hat design up top later so let's chain two and then turn the work around so we're looking at the inside here okay and we're going to double crochet into each stitch across for again 15 stitches one two three four five, six, seven. I'm going fast for the video, but you can slow this down or pause it if you need to. And catch up if you need to. And then for row three here, we are going to decrease down to 13 stitches. Okay, so there's two rows of just 15 stitches across. So now chain two and turn your work, okay, and we're going to decrease. So at this point we are going to double crochet these two together and remember how we did that on the ear flaps. We're just going to do that on these two stitches. So that first, the first two stitches are now one stitch and now we're going to double crochet until there are two stitches left on this row and then we're going to double crochet those two stitches together. So I'm just double crocheting until there's two stitches left. And again, I'm going fast because um, just for the video, but you can take your time. 
Okay, so I have two stitches left at this point here, so yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook, and that creates a double crochet two together. So you should have 13 stitches on row three. Let's chain two and turn the work around. We're gonna, gonna do our last row here. As you can see, it is starting to cover the whole bill like this. So I just need one more row to decrease here. So we're going to uh, double crochet these two stitches together here. So yarn over, go into this first stitch, go into the next stitch, and then bring those two together. Then double crochet into each stitch until the very uh, the last two stitches. Okay, so basically just repeat row th uh, three that we did, and this is row four of the brim. Okay, so I have two stitches left here, so we're going to double crochet these two stitches together. Boom, just like that. Now we can fasten this off, so chain one, and I'm gonna cut my yarn long for sewing. And pull that through, pull tight. And then we're just going to flip this around and do the same exact thing on the bottom half on the stitches from this side. So just make sure to do both sides, okay? Front, or top and bottom, just like this. And then we're gonna sew this together. Something like that. If that makes any sense there, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna sew along this edge here, and then I'm going to fasten that off. So let's grab our yarn needle and the long strand that we cut, and yarn our needle. Okay line these up. So I'm basically sewing the hat inside there so it's not going to ever come out. So that is something if you don't want to be done then don't do that. But I had to add the whole hat because if I just added the brim it would flop down and um, look weird. So I had to add the whole hat so that the brim stays up if that makes sense. Okay so we're just going to I'm just going to go around and around, so through the same side each time, just like this. Okay, you can decide how you want to sew it, uh, how you feel it looks best. And take your time with the sewing, just make sure that it looks really good. Okay. And now this is together, so now I'm going to come back through because I started in the corner up there. So now I'm going to come through to this corner again. And then go across to the other side. I'm going to hide this inside. Okay. So I'm just going to sew this all closed and then once I get all the way across to here, I'll come back and show you the next step. There we go. I just wanted to show you how I fastened off here. So I just sewed along the brim of the hat, so I'm coming back through this loop, just like that, and creating a knot, and pulling tight, and then I'm going to sew this underneath these stitches, okay, just like that, and you can even take your hook and pull it inside because nobody's gonna see that. Cool. 
Now this is what it looks like so far. Let me zoom out so you can see this. Looks so cool. How fabulous is that? So you can just leave it like this if you'd like. Um, but I'm going to add the trapper top here uh, as an extra design, extra accessory. But look at how cool that hat is in there. So it's like fixed in there. You can't even see it. And the brim is so fabulous. That looks cool. So I'm going to turn this upside down like this. Okay. And I'm going to attach my hook into this stitch right here. So count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So my 15th stitch is here. I should cut this. Just make sure that I have my 15th stitch right here. So 15 stitches across. Okay, I'm going to grab my main color here and hook this on. Okay, chain two. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll zoom back in. There we go. Alright, so we are going to chain two, one and two, and double crochet across in these front loops that we did not work in or sew together with anything. Okay, so I'm just going to use these free front loops and just double crochet across these 15 stitches. Once I do that, I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so we are back. So I just um, double crocheted across here, as you can see. So now we're going to do two... Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to do three or four rows, depending on your liking, really, however many rows you want to do of this. So we're just going to chain two, turn the work, okay, so now we're looking at it like this, and we are going to double crochet across. And it's basically, that's it. Um, there's no increasing, decreasing, or anything like that, and we are just going to double crochet across, chain two, and then turn the work, and then double crochet across. And I'm going to do that, uh, I'll see after three rows what it looks like, and if I don't, if I need it bigger, I'll do four rows. Uh, but four rows should be more than enough, or just enough, for your liking, and then once we have that done, we're going to cut this and sew the top, uh, or sew it to the hat. Alright, I did four rows total here. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to cut my yarn long for sewing. I'm going to pull it through all the way and pull tight on that. And I am just going to um, count four rows up right here, and I'm going to sew this just along this edge here. Okay, just along there, and leave this open on this side. And you can add two buttons if you want, or leave it just like that. Uh, but what I'm going to do, let me find my needle here, and I'll show you. There we go. Just yarn the needle. Okay. And I'm going to do it like this. And really however, wherever, there we go, just kind of tacking it down. It does not have to be perfect up here, I mean, you can take your time and, um, you know, make sure it's, it looks good and it's secure, but this part is just the accessory, it's not, it's just an, an extra decoration for the hat. So I'm kind of just tacking it down. But like I said, if you wanted to add buttons then for that part, um, I might add some buttons. And then just to fasten this off, I'm going to go around a couple of stitches, come back through the loop, and pull tight. Just like that. And then you can sew in this end underneath the stitches and even into the hat if you need to just secure it 
Oh, this looks so fabulous. I love the fur component of this. It's so beautiful. So just cut that extra. Weave in all your ends. I highly suggest you weave them in as you go, but if you haven't done that, just make sure to do that. And there it is. This trapper hat is complete with this brim. Looks so good. I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this hat with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. A big huge thank you to Lion Brand Yarn for providing these beautiful orange yarns for us today. These are so fabulous to use. I highly recommend using uh, this Hometown USA and Go For Faux in your next project. So thanks again for watching everyone. Until next time, happy hooking!